investigating. Take God a breath, Max. Damn. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. <laughs> Look at oh my god, there's so much stuff. I guess I I select one of each, but um So it looks like they keep meeting at the beach. Uh, I'm thinking it might be... I'm thinking I need to select this one. Because it mentions the beach and how he wants to do acid, which I think is probably what he gave to Kate. And then... Wait, what was the date on this one? The f... Uh... The 4th of November? Or, uh, October, I mean? So I guess 4th October, around 10.30 at night. That's September. Oh, we're in October, and it's for rot. Or they're all for rot, but... Oh. Mm, I don't think that's it. Hmm. What's the flyer? So, this infamous party was the fourth. Okay. So it must be whatever's... It must be this. Okay, we'll select that one. Because that one says October 4th, and so does that one. But anyways... Yeah, that is what it is. I have to select one of each. But anyways, um... No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So, he could be hiding clues there too. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Not much out there. Hmm. The barn could be a thing. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor rich Nathan. I doubt it was there. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. It wouldn't be there. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? Probably. I don't know. But just... I doubt it take her there. What's this? That beach is like Frank's main office. Okay, I doubt it'd be there. I'm gonna select this one. Chloe! This is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody. 
except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Ma'am, please. Thank you. That truck looks weird when it's At least there. But, anyways. I'm glad that all that investigating was over. That was, like, time consuming. Holy shit, this is scary. I know. But we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Is there anything in our journal? Oh, I thought it was gonna let us control. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Um, okay, I think it starts here. This is the moment where all the clues come together and we finally have a location outside of town that may lead us straight to Rachel, Amber, and beyond. Uh, after everything that happened with Frank, I had to convince Chloe to keep going forward with me. Since I do feel we're at the end of the road, hopefully not the end of the world. But whatever anger Chloe has inside her that makes her so self-destructive is matched by her balls and bravery. Yes, Chloe has gotten me nearly killed, but I know she would die for me. And I can't forget I put her in a wheelchair to slowly die in another reality. And Chloe is more focused now than before. I told her we have to keep moving forward no matter what, and I couldn't find Rachel on my own. That was enough. Now it's time to shine a light into the dark room. Okay, so typically there's a back, a way through the back. Picture? Uh, no! Back up, back up, back up. No! <laughs> it keeps going away! Oh shit, oh shit, I'm clicking the wrong buttons. Photo, 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 photo. Photo, photo. Yay. I just wanted the photo. <laughs> fish eye. Fish eye. Oh, it was probably a fish eye of the bird or something. Um, this looks like a way in. Oh yes. Get free, don't cut yourself. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. I kind of get the freaked out when works. I go in the barns, too. There's pictures on the wall. I hey, check out this pictures. old chest. Oh god, are they good? okay. A little louder, Chloe. Yeah. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. My scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. <coughs> For some reason, when she opened the chest, I was expecting her to find a body. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Is there something in our journal? Oh, right, we got a text from Warren. Uh... Thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going ape. He deserved a beatdown, but I don't want to stoop to his level. Besides, somebody is going to kick his ass sooner than later. 
You're a wise grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. You still paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, promise. Cool, now I have to calm myself down. So we got the nest that... I'm assuming probably should have gone to like the... Or we are going to the beach or something, I don't know. Huh. Anyways, I'm enjoying the game, I guess. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. This tractor has paid its dues. I don't know why, but I always I always like something about old tractors. They just appeal to me. Even my old neighbor when I was growing up as a kid, he, he had uh, old Massey Ferguson's, and I don't know why, but I, I really liked his tractors. I was like, you know what, I want that tractor when I grow up. Then nowadays, it's like they're all these brand new high-tech things, and I hardly look I like tractors anymore. I guess the Prescott's were just born bastards. Uh, I cannot read that. Dearest Mr. Linden, I am writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you have chosen to ignore. The Prescott's may not be established business gentlemen, but we are business men and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest, plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end of the and if the day of the day, July 24th, in the year of our Lord, 1903, rest assured we will make your life a living hell. Wow. Damn. Lots of info here. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out of here. But there must be. Trying to see what the tracks where the tracks go, but it's hard to wow, sir. see. Talk about home on the range. Chickens. How about the perimeter, Max? There has to be more here than this crate. Rusty button. There's no way this rusty-ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. <coughs> Nothing here. I thought that was tracks. Oh. There's... <sighs> Nothing here. Old. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a secret door or something. This sounds like it would be. Just rotting wood. Okay. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. <laughs> I'd rather a shotgun or something, but whatever. <sighs> These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Oh, another thing. I like how you see hay flying, but then, like, the actual ground just stays solid. <laughs> so it looks weird. Haystack. So many haystacks, so few needles. Sounds hollow here. Old. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? Thought so. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Well, you can at least look. Like, who knows? Maybe it's a number combination. Okay, Ooh. Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Ah, the good old days. Pollard's Market. Eggs, bacon, sugar, coffee. 
I thought that said cocaine. I don't know what it actually says, but I swear that's that said cocaine. And tobacco milk. I have no idea what that is saying, but whatever. <laughs> um, do we need to find keys or something now? Platform. Climb. <laughs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Alright. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Super Max. I dig having minions. Now what? There's look. Oh, okay, I was gonna say there's literally nothing here. Um. Oh. Wait, look. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. That is an old motor. Like, look at all the, the pulleys and stuff on it. She's just there looking. Uh... Kind of windy out for some reason. I guess this is what we gotta do. I just wanna check here. Doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, here it is. <coughs> Here's the other end of the rope. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Did I like. Was I supposed to do something else? Because I just basically came up here for nothing. Oh, wait. <sighs> Photo. Photo time. <laughs> Manually exposed. I don't know why, but I keep checking that. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> sorry. I like how she even said sorry. <laughs> like, even I was like, oh my god, that pun. But all I can do is look at this. Here's the other end of the rope. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Oh my god. Right, Mount Bus. Uh, what the f Attach. There we go. I did not think of that at all. Pull. So that didn't work at all. Now what? Oh my god, am I supposed to... The hook is attached pretty tight to the rope. I could use it to open the hatch. Do I have to rewind? Do I get down? No, Max. Try again. The hook is attached pretty tight to the rope. Okay, uh, I, I can't. Skip I could this. use it to open the hatch. Okay, so I do need to rewind. I guess I can just press control. I 
attached. Attached to what? Oh, I see. Now I need to get up there again. Oh, I see. And when we pull on it now, it's gonna... No. I guess not. Yeah, the rope's too long. But now we rewind. And then... We pull. And then we push it, and then it's gonna yank off the, the hatch. Nice. Max Giver strikes again. <laughs> I wonder if we're getting near the, the end of this. Damn, part of the this is heavy. Stairs, wow. What is this? Jackpot. This is getting creepy as hell. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. Security door. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Oh great, we need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Was I supposed to remember, remember something? Because... Oh no. There was something. Um. I remember in one of Nathan's notes there was a three digit code. And I can't remember what it was. God damn it. Where do I find this code now? Now that's a serious door. Where's Gandalf when I need him? I'm just gonna guess it, like, uh... Oh, think, think. Uh... I don't know... I'm just mashing random numbers right now. Wrong code. Oops. Bad code. You locked it, dumbass. Um. That actually scared the shit out of me. Come on, Max. Break that digi code. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, as it does help me out a lot. If you like the music you're currently listening to, click the music icon. And if you want, check out my other various social medias by clicking the logos or by checking the description box down below. Also, don't forget to check out my fellow YouTube friends in the list on my channel to the right side. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the Clouder today. It's like Chowder, but with cats.